Hello and welcome to my Warhammer 40,000 rules review of the Legio Custodes Telemon Heavy Dreadnought. The largest dreadnought that Games Workshop or Forgeworld uh, produce. One of these will set you back £72 in the loadout that you see there. Alternatively, uh, you can buy the, the weapons separately. Uh, £13 for the Arachna Storm Cannon, £13 for the Sestus and 13 for the Iliastus Accelerator Culverin. The reason why I'm doing this uh, 40k rules review is because uh, they have um, released um, some Warhammer 40,000 rules uh, for the Telemon Dreadnought, uh, which is great. Um, I think they're releasing rules for these Custodes uh, units piecemeal, uh, bit by bit, in anticipation uh, of their new hardback uh, Warhammer 40,000 Custodes and, well, basically Talons of the Emperor book, uh, which will have uh, a load of data sheets um, for the Forge World uh, Custodes and Sisters of Silence uh, models for use in 8th edition, Warhammer 40k, which is amazing. The book is written, uh, so probably in a couple of months, I want to say, it might come out. And so in anticipation of that, they've been releasing now and again uh, rules for some of their Forge World Custodes uh, units. And the most recent one is this one, the Telemon Heavy Dreadnought. I produced a couple of videos, um, I think a couple of months ago, um, when Custodes was in a bit of a full swing of the rules for the Coronas Grav Carrier and also the Contempt Dreadnought as well. So they, they'd release those rules. This is gonna follow that format. The rules are available for free on Forge World's uh, website, um, both the Horus Heresy rules and the 40K. So we'll, we'll go through the rules. Okay, so uh, the power points cost of the Telemon Dreadnought is a power points cost of 17. Um, the points cost uh, is 220 points. And then you've got uh, the range weapon points cost is uh, 60 for the Plasma Ejector, 60 for the Arachnus uh, Lazstorm, the Spiculus Bolt Launcher is free, and the Iliastus Accelerator Culverin is 45. Um, for the Sestus, uh, it's 60 points for a Sestus singularly, and for a pair, it's 65. So I would have thought that you'd have to pay 130 points, you know, for a pair of, of Sestus um, fists. It's one of those units where um, when it suffers damage, its characteristics will change during the battle. It has 15 wounds base, but if it has between eight and 15, its movement is nine inches, weapon skill two plus, ballistic skill two plus. Uh, between four and seven wounds, you've got movement of six inches and weapon skill three plus, ballistic skill three plus. And then when it's only got one to three wounds, it's got a movement of only four inches and a weapon skill four plus and ballistic skill four plus. So it's stat line then. At full strength, movement of nine inches, weapon skill and ballistic skill of two plus. That's great. Its strength is nine, which is amazing. It's got uh, toughness eight. 15 wounds, four attacks, leadership 10, and a save of two plus. So a very, very solid stat line there. It's a single model, a uh, heavy support choice, I didn't mention before, um, and it is equipped with two Telemon Sasus, two twin plasma ejectors, and a Spiculus Bolt Launcher. Only one Telemon Heavy Dreadnought may be taken in any army. That's an important note there. You can only take one and you can only have one in your heavy support choice. So the Telemon Sestus, basically the power fist. Uh, it's a melee weapon, its strength is times two, so you've got strength of 18 there, AP minus three, and a damage of three, and you can re-roll wound rolls of a one uh, for attacks with this weapon. Would have been nice for it to be AP minus four, but hey, it's not a chain power fist, is it, or anything like that. The twin plasma ejector, which are on the um, Sestus, uh, fists there. That's a short range weapon. It's uh, only eight inches. It's a short range weapon uh, of eight inches, um, but it does have heavy 2d6 shots. That's incredible. You could be packing 12 shots with this uh, this weapon. And, it's, and that's great because it's a strength seven, AP minus three, damage one, and the weapon hits its target automatically. That's incredible. Don't need to rely on that uh, ballistic skill of two plus. It's just 12 shots, bang, it's hit. Then you're straight into your wounds. So very, very deadly, nothing to be overlooked. It might cause havoc in the sense of, uh, you know, getting into close combat range and things. You might wipe out, you might wipe out a fair bit of the force that you're assaulting or that they're assaulting you. The Spiculus Bolt Launcher on the top there, 
That's a, a nice decent range of 24 inches. It's heavy five shot, strength five, AP minus two though, which is good, and damage of one. So that's a nice little bonus. You've got you know, five heavy shots there. The Arachnus Storm, which mine is equipped with, you can buy the Iliastis Accelerator Culverin. I might get a second one of these and have the Iliastis uh, Accelerator Culverin. But the Arachnus Storm there, uh, it's a 48 inch range, heavy 10 shot, strength seven, AP minus one and damage of D3. So that's pretty decent. You've got your damage of D3 there, you've got 10 shots at strength seven uh, and so on. The Iliastus Accelerator Culverin is a shorter range though, it's only 36 inch range. It's, a, it's less shots, so you're only getting heavy six shots, but the strength is better at eight and the AP is better at minus three. Damage is still the same at D3. So it's options. The Telemon Heavy Dreadnought may replace one or both of its Telemon Sestus and Twin Plasma Ejectors with one of the following. Um, both the Telemon Sestus and Twin Plasma Ejector must be exchanged for a single option. The Arachnus Lazdorm or the Iliastis Accelerator Culverin. Abilities then. Reinforced Atomantic Barriers. The model has a 4 plus invulnerable save. So you've got a 2 plus normal, 4 plus invulnerable, 15 wounds, toughness 8. Wow. Spiculous Volley. This is a great little addition uh, to this weapon and really boosts it. If the model remains stationary and if you're packing the Arachnus Lazstorm, no reason why it wouldn't be, it can shoot its Spiculous Bolt Launcher twice in the following shooting phase. That's sick. So you've got 10 shots at 48 inch range and then you've got another 10 shots at 24 inch range. That could be horrific. 20 shots there of, uh, well, Strength 7 and Strength 5. This thing is just immense at shooting. Another ability, Unyielding Ancient. Roll a d6 each time the model loses a wound. On a six, the damage is ignored and the wound is not lost. Great! So it's got a feel no pain kind of thing going on. So even if you get past the four plus and vulnerable, even if you get past the two plus save uh, and it loses a wound, just ignore it on a six. Nice little bonus. Atomantic Cascade. If the model is reduced to zero wounds, roll a d6 before removing it from the battlefield. On a six, it explodes and each unit within six inches suffers d6 mortal wounds. So similar to the Leviathan, um, the Atomantic, just, yeah, six inches is quite a good distance and d6 mortal wounds. So be wary of that. You don't want it too close to your own units. The keywords, Imperium, Adeptus Custodes, Vehicle, Dreadnought, Telemon, Heavy Dreadnought. So there you go. So the model itself, 220 points. So you get the Twin Plasma Ejector, um, plus the Spiculous Bolt Launcher and the Arachnus Storm and uh, a single Sestus. That's gonna be an extra 180 points on top of your 220. 400 points, ladies and gentlemen. Very expensive unit. Not sure whether it's worth that. 15 wounds is a lot, but its movement is decent at nine inches. It's very, very tough. Uh, got a great, great set of saves and can ignore wounds, and has some nice abilities in terms of the Spiculous uh, Bolt Launcher. Nice long range, Strength 7 is not the best though. Uh, it's still gonna do more damage up close and personal, uh, both with the Twin Plasma Ejectors and its Telemon Sestus. You know, Strength 18 at AP minus three, and re-rolling uh, rolls of a one for attacks is gonna be pretty decent. You, you, you're pretty much gonna be hitting all of your attacks with that Sestus. Having two Sestus, is really gonna wreck face. However, it's gonna be difficult to uh, get this guy in combat. People are gonna be wary of how much damage it does and trying to keep as far away from it as possible. However, they can't really ignore it because even with the Iliastis Accelerator Culverin, it's still got an effective range of 45 inches. So if you're playing on a normal size board and someone's using this, then they really have to spend some attention on it because otherwise it's going to be chipping away at either the strength eight, six shots or uh, 10 strength seven shots. They really can't attack it in close combat. Uh, they can bog it down in close combat, you know, with like a horn army or something because it's four attacks. Uh, it's going to take a few turns to get to chew through things and it doesn't have any extra attacks or any extra abilities. Um, so either tie it up with uh, hordes or try and just invest a lot of shooting into it. But don't go into close combat with it, especially with a, another armored unit, because they're gonna feel a, a world of pain. Anyway, I hope that's uh, done this uh, Custodes Telemon Heavy Dreadnought uh, justice. Please do put all your thoughts and opinions and comments and things uh, down below. It'd be great to hear from you. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I was thinking about doing this uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, another subscriber just um, recently 
reminded me that I hadn't done it yet, so uh, here it is. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.